Well, it's a phrase you've probably heard on the news or during one of the governor's press conferences, herd immunity. Yesterday, the governor said it was one of the keys to reopening our state. But there's a lot of confusion over what herd immunity really means. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley live in Sacramento getting answers on this. Laura? Well, I'll tell you a quick story. When I was a kid, my older sister Alice and I both had the chicken pox, but my twin sister Sarah, she never got them. Here's why. Two out of the three of us were immune to the virus, which protected the third from ever getting it. That's herd immunity, the majority protecting the minority. I'll break it down some more. The prospect of mass gatherings is negligible at best until we get to herd immunity uh, and we get to a vaccine. But we may not be able to achieve one without the other. Here's how herd immunity works. Here's a group of healthy people before the spread of a virus. Let's call that virus X. If none of them are vaccinated against X and just one of them gets sick, they can all get sick. But if the majority of the group is vaccinated against X, like the faces you see in blue, and a person outside of the group gets sick and then spreads X, the unvaccinated people inside the group are protected by people with vaccinations. They, in effect, create a shield for the members of the community that are still susceptible. Achieving herd immunity. We talk about that a lot when we're talking about vaccine preventable diseases. Like measles, whooping cough, or the chicken pox. But the ability to get to herd immunity depends on a few things. When a person gets the disease, uh, do, are they able to get immune after they recover? And how long does that immunity last? and also if a vaccine is available. And that's the key, a vaccine. The problem is we don't have one yet for coronavirus. So Dr. Olivia Casirie says social distancing is the best option. The issue that we have with COVID-19 is um, the number of people who get severe disease and the number of deaths. Now, if we attempt herd immunity before we develop a vaccine, it's likely that the already very high death rate could get worse.